hello guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how you can host your php website using infinity free and i will show you how you can upload your existing database file also so let's go first of all you have to actually go to the browser and type here infinity free and click in uh, first link here you can see infinityfree.com and register with your gmail and here you can see i have registered with my gmail here you can see this is the domain i have created so if you want to create your new domain you can actually click here create account okay and after that you have here some option uh, some free plan here you can see all the plans uh, so this is the free plans so just go with the free plans because we want to actually host our website for free right so click here create now and here we have to actually give a subdomain so give your subdomain own subdomain okay and then check the availability if it is available or not if it is available then it will actually create the domain i already have this here you can see now i'll click here in the domain and here you can see we have two options here file manager control panel so you can directly go to the file manager to upload your project or you can actually go to the control panel at first and here you will find option called files here you can see files so click here online file manager right click on it and open it in a new tab and if you have your database let's say let me show you my project at first if i go to the project directory here you can see this is my php restaurant management system so my this is my g project I'll double click on it and I'll open it and here you can see these are my files all the PHP and everything related to my project and here are all the images so if you have this dot uh, SQL also here you can see uh, if you have the database file also you can actually upload it so let me show you how you can upload your database file and all the I mean your whole project okay not just uh, your uh, G file. Okay, I will show you everything with the database file also. Uh, we have opened our file manager in a new tab and now we will open our database. And here you can see we have MySQL database also. So we'll actually go with PHP My Admin because I have actually used Jamp and I have used PHP My Admin. So I'll go with the PHP My Admin. So right click on it and open it in a new tab. And here you can see this this is the file and this is my domain if you have multiple domain all the domain will be shown here let's just go with the first domain because i have already only one domain so i'll go with this one and here you will find the folder called stdocs so you have to go inside stdocs and here you can see i have already my project here so i'm going to delete it and upload it once again so i'm going to delete this and i'm going to show you how you can actually upload it so click here upload so as my file is zip so i will uh, I mean, select this section zip and extract okay now choose the file so here this is the file i will open it here and i will say upload and extract so it will actually upload and at the same time it will extract it and here you can see we have all the file here now let's go for the database so here we have opened a new tab i mean we have opened database right php my admin so here is the thing and now from here we'll click here this option here and here we have to actually give the database name at first and i'll create a database here and i'll select create database so it will actually create a database here you can see and now i'll select this admin option so it will actually took me to the admin here we go now this is the control panel now here we'll actually go for the import option because we cannot actually individually create every single table right we will just upload our file so here we'll say import this option okay and here we have option choose file so we'll click here and now we will select our sql file so open it here and after that we will actually select here go now we have uploaded successfully our file now we will actually go for the structure and here you can see we have all the table menu items orders and everything so guys uh, here i follow to mention one thing and that is mysql username and mysql password so if you go to the file manager on db.php and if you edit this file let me show you 
uh, here you can see uh, we have here localhost and root right as the username and password so this is because we have used jam right we have used jam so jam is a localhost server for our pc right and there is the reason actually our uh, server uh, don't have any username i mean the default username was root and password is now but here we have to change it and here when i create the database here you can see you can see that there we have a uh, current database name right this room db then uh, masculine username and password this is so now your um, pass up so here you can see this password is uh, basically your uh, virtual panel uh, password i mean when you actually create your domain uh, that time actually you have uh, given a password right if i open it here you can see if i uh, uncheck it and then the uh, password will be shown here so we have to actually copy this password okay so copy this password and go here in the file and here we have to click the password and this is our password and now the user we have to give the username so our username is masculine username is this one okay so copy this and add it in the user and that's it now server is uh, uh the local host maybe so minus 2 and force name so mainly and the server is this one okay so we will actually copy this okay and because this is the host name so uh, i mean this is the server uh, for this mysql okay here you can see so we have copied the server names now we have to save it okay okay so guys uh, here you can see my database name is this one so we have to actually copy this and you have to change here the database name let's say you want to go for the edit and here we have to change the database name as well here you can see so currently our database name is changed here you can see if you go here you can see our uh, current database name is changed right we have written here uh, respectively but now it's changed so you have to change the name also from here uh, okay so now we save and close it and done now you can actually refresh our don't and here you can see this is your project and our project is live now we can actually go for the registration also here you can see it. login is go for the login and we'll login is let's say tanvi at gmail.com password is one two three so loading and here you go this is our dashboard now we can actually view orders also all right now we can actually log out so this is now uh actually working with the database also right so guys i hope you understand and if this video is helpful for you please make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this thank you so much for watching